Hi, Amy with Fashion Toppings here, and today I'm going to be doing another refashion. And I got this dress at the, this is one of my thrift store purchases, and I bought it because of the color. Uh, as I've said before, blue, cobalt blue especially, is my favorite color. So today we're going to make this uh, pretty conservative looking dress into something that's uh, a little bit more my taste, so I can wear it. I'm already deciding that this is a very high neckline, and you'll see the pictures at the beginning. You'll see that it is a very conservative dress. Um, this very high neckline, I know I'm going to want to do something with that. I'm going to have some difficulties, though, because of these pleats. So this is going to be a tough one to refashion, but I'm going to have fun with it. I'm definitely going to remove the sleeves. It's still 90-something 90, 90 plus degrees outside and humid, so I definitely need to get rid of these sleeves. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, and it's a long below-the-knee dress with the pleats. So, so far, I've already decided I've got to change the neckline. I have to take out the sleeves. Um, I need to shorten the dress and also I want to do something a little bit nicer as far as maybe I'll make a sash to go with it or something to uh, make some definition between the waist. So I'm going to be taking pictures of what I do and then explaining it and um, can't wait to see the finished product. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my seam ripper and I'm going to take off the sleeves and then I'll come back and we'll kind of decide what we're going to do with the neckline. Okay, well I cut off the sleeves and uh, inside the sleeves were big matted up shoulder pads. So I got rid of those too. So I cut off the sleeves already, it's starting to look much better. And I don't like how, low, or how conservative the neckline is. And so I went ahead and pinned, because these have um, pleats in it, I don't want to lose my pleats. So I pinned along where I'm going to cut. And I'm going to cut on the other side of the pins because that will keep all my pleats in place. And so um, I don't have to worry about having to refold those or having those lose their shape. So I'm, I pinned the pleats in place and I'm going to cut on the other side of the pins because I want a more plunging neck, neckline. So I'm going to cut the one side, and then I'm going to show you how to make sure the other side is the same. I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and, and cut on the side of the pins. Now what do I do, what I do to make sure that one side is the same as the other? Okay, it has, it's two layers because there's a, two layers to the stress. So, so. Okay, what I did is I went ahead and cut on the salvage part, the part we're discarding, of the pins so that the pins, is hold, pins are holding the pleats in place. So I take what I've cut and I fold it and put it on the opposite side and then I pin it in place. Okay, so now I have a pattern of where to pin and cut on the other side. So I cut this side and then I fold it to the other side. Now I'm going to pin and cut on that side so that both sides are the same. So I think it should be the same on both sides. And that looks much better than the conservative neckline that used to be on this dress. And I will have to uh, fold this over slightly so I can have a finished edge and I'll put a hem on there and I'll show that um, close up in some pictures. So, so far, this is what we have, sleeveless and a better neckline. Next, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to try it on and decide what I want for a length. Um, since there are these pleats all the way down, see it's all pleated. I'm going to definitely try it on. I'm not just going to guess with the tape measure. I'm going to try it on, uh, decide how I want my length. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. And let's see what it looks like then. And then we'll make the next step. OK, we're getting there. We're getting close to being done. It's already starting to take shape. You'll see I took a picture of the shortened length. And um, already it's starting to look much more in style. You'll notice I have been working completely with the dress inside right um, the correct way because with these pleats I need to make sure I'm paying attention to where I'm pinning and how things are coming together. Uh, so I won't turn it inside out until I start doing my hemming. And that I think is going to be the next step. So let's go ahead and turn this inside out. Let's start doing our hemming of our neckline and we'll put a hem in the bottom. I'll take pictures and then we're getting closer to seeing the finished product. I'm excited. Okay, see you in a bit. I went ahead and pinned a hemline around the neck and I also pinned a hemline around both arms. Just basically turned the material once uh, because I did leave the commercial finished edges, the ones that have been surged by the manufacturers. I just rolled it once and then I pinned all the way around both sides. So I'll have uh, nice clean edges on the 
armholes and on the neck hole. I decided not to take it in at the waist because every time I took it in the waist, it affected how the pleats would lay. So um, since I'm going to make a sash to go around the waist, uh, that will be the part that will take it in for me. So I don't want to actually cut through this material because then I affect the pleats at the bottom. So. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take this to the sewing machine. I'm going to use a straight stitch and I'm going to stitch along my pins to finish my neckline and to finish my new armholes. Now I do have my garment inside out and I'll take some pictures and then I'll be right back with uh, the hems all completed. Well, I put in my finished, my finished edges around the neck and around the shoulders, which I took close up pictures of for you. And I was going to put a hem in the bottom. But since the skirt has um, all the pleats and it is extremely see-through, I'm definitely going to have to wear a slip underneath it, you can kind of tell. Um, but since it's see-through, when I started to roll the hem, to even to put the slightest small hem in here, you could see through it. Now, the hem on it previously was a serged edge, and I still don't have my surgery yet. I didn't want to do a zigzag stitch because it doesn't look nice and neat with my sewing machine. So this, this material won't fray. So I went ahead and used a rotary cutter cut straight across the dress and to have a nice straight edge and I decided not to put a hem in it just so I wouldn't see the, the stitching through the see-through material. But normally I would have just done a single roll or a double roll hem and stitch, uh, use a straight stitch across but because of the visibility through the dress I decided not to. I just go ahead and I'm going to leave it as a, as a raw edge because you can't really tell it cut nice and neat. I also uh, belted it with a black belt to give it some definition around the waist. You can see the black belt. But um, just for the sake of also the video, I'm going to go ahead and show what it would look like with a brighter belt. But the dress turned out so cute. This is definitely something. You can see how the dress is too big for me. But instead of having to alter the waistband, I take care of it with a belt. So this is the dress with the red belt. Now you can definitely see the definition around the waist. Uh, versus the black that didn't video very well but I did not have to put a hem in this dress but if you have a flat panel dress um, or one without you know any dress that doesn't have pleats you definitely probably want to put a hem in it a single roll hem uh, depending on the material or a double roll hem or you can use binding tape um, uh, and sew up on the bottom for a finished edge none of those would really work for this type of dress because it is so sheer see-through and um, set pleats all the way through it. So I just decided to leave it a raw edge and I like it. I can't wait to wear it. So I hope you like this project. I hope I inspired you once again to go to that local thrift store or the Goodwill um, or yard sales anywhere. Find clothes, refashion them, make a new purpose for them and uh, get yourself a new wardrobe. So get out that sewing machine. Okay until next time this is Amy with Fashion Toppings.